Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that what is the team management, team managed software and then company managed software into the Jira. So in our earlier video, you see that uh, during the creation of the project, either I have to select the company managed software or team managed software and I have randomly selected. I have not uh, discussed much because I want to create a separate video where we can discuss about that what is the team managed project and what is the company managed project. And what are the settings, different type of setting is present to the team managed pro software and then company managed software. So let's understand that in our today's video. Before we discuss that, let's see that where this team managed and company managed um, software is coming. So if you go to the projects, under the project, if you are trying to create your new projects, you click the uh, create new project, you will have different type of template. Once you select that any kind of template, after choosing that template, you will have a options called um, this option called team manage um, project and company manage project. And this is the option you have to select. If you see the warning, the warning is clearly mentioning that you will need to create a new project if you decide to switch project type later. So it is very hard to move one project type to the another project type. So if you already created a project, is the team managed project, it is very hard to move that team managed project to the company managed project. Or if you have already created a company managed project, it is very hard to move from company managed project to the team managed project. So there are a lot of efforts, times will be uh, needed to configure those. So I would say that before you create a project, you decide that which type of project needed and then you select that project. Because each and every like team managed project and company managed project, they have some different type of features, different type of options available. So when you are trying to create that, you need to be understand which one is suitable for you. So let's understand by going through the definition, the simply process, simple language, we can say the team managed project and company managed project difference is that if you are new in the Jira and you don't have Jira administrator and you have a small team who want to manage the story, epic and um, you know um, bug, you should go for the team managed project. But if you have company, if you have a big team, you need to be more control into the Jira. You want to more customization, you want to make more complex workflow. You should go for the company managed project and also there should be a dedicated Jira admin who can control these who have much experience then you should go for the company managed project. Now let's understand that uh, their pro setup or their differences. So if you see anyone in your team can set up a uh, and maintain. So basically simply if you go to the team manage anyone can uh, maintain this team managed project but if you select that company managed project then you need to have a dedicated Jira admin as I said in earlier. So Jira because in team in the company managed project there will be a lot of configuration that can you know override other projects and there can be a simple changes can be affect whole story or whole board. So if you are trying to create a uh, simple one go for the uh, team managed project. Next setting do not impact other project standardized configuration shared across the project so if you change simple settings even let's say that you change the workflow it can be impact other project also if you go for the company manage and if you don't have much knowledge but in the same uh, in the team manage it will be limited or scoped to that that particular project it will not be impact any other project next it is very easy to set up issue type and custom field. So if you want to create a custom field, it's a very easy, simple, go to the settings and change that. But for, um, uh, you know, company managed project, as you have more control, more configuration, it will be a little difficult or little complex to create the issue type, to create the custom field into the manage project. So whenever you are, uh, you know, whenever you are creating a new issue type or whenever you're creating a new field, you should understand that what things you are doing because you have a lot of options available which functions or which options are not available under the team managed project. It's a simple configuration for multiple workflow, customizable workflow uh, status and issue transition. So there will be more configuration and then more complex. So uh, if you have Jira admin, you have a Jira expert then you can go for the manage uh, company managed project. Then access level uh, permission. So I mean, basically whole stuff is that team management is a little simple and less 
uh, configurable and less control you have where that company managed project having a uh, much uh, configurable much complex and more conf uh, more con uh, configurable so let's see that if i go back to my project these two project and see what is the differences first so if i duplicate this one and open my uh, you know this is my company managed project dc and this is my team managed project so uh, two uh, two options are two uh, project i have opened so this is the team managed project and this is the company managed project and if i go to the settings project settings and here if i go to the project setting i will show you that what are the features available so if you see here under this uh, team managed project we have options under the details we have a name key category project lead here if i go back to the details here you have name key project type and then you have a description and then uh, these are the i mean there is no uh, major difference only difference is that i can see this project type and project category is not miss i'm missing into this team managed project now going back to that you can see there is a one more extra uh, options here called summary uh, which is not available under you can see this which is not available under the team managed project so company managed project have extra um, options called summary which is not available next they have the uh, people these options also not available under these options also not available under our uh, you know team managed project next we have uh, you know i mean i'm just uh, talking about the differences now you can see you have options for access here you can directly add the user but they have people where they can add that uh, user then permission these steps also extra uh, you can see these permission steps but you don't have any kind of uh, i mean you have a combination of these uh, you know people and act, uh, permission both combined into the access now you have a notification and the notification these two are the similar so this is notification and this is notification so this is the uh, my uh, team managed project and this is my uh, you know uh, company managed project so pretty much similar to the notification now you have both have the automation so you both have the automation tab here you have automation tab here also you have automation tab okay so both the uh, both the cases it have awesome automation tabs so understand one thing access is in a team managed project here people and permission is combined in a um, um, company manage and then summary tab is extra into company management which is not available now you have a features and these features also available here so you can see the features is available here under the team managed project and company managed project also have a features so there is no much differences on that but you have issue tie into this uh, uh, team managed project but for company managed project you have a dedicated um, you know um, sections where you can configure a lot of things into the issue so that is the major difference you can see another issue you can make a lot of changes which doesn't have you only have that updating or creating the issue type but under this company managed project so this is company managed project and this is the team managed project in the team managed project you have only update options to update the issue type and here in the company managed project you have other option like you can create you can update the layout you can update the screen security others lot of options available also you will have see that there is options called workflow that options is missing in your team managed project so team managed project doesn't have much flexibility to configure the workflow but company managed project have a dedicated tab to workflow so these are the major uh, differences i just want to share with you guys so if you have uh, any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day